I'm Elder Sharon Vincent. Welcome, welcome to another edition of It's My Lifestyle. God has been good to us. It's a brand new year, everybody. It's a brand new year, and I hope you have some wonderful things in store this year on your list, on your to-do list. Uh, some people make resolutions, some don't, but whatever it is, make plans to do some things this year, whether you want to call it a resolution or not. But make some wonderful plans this year, and I hope God gets in the middle of it and blesses you like you have never seen before in your life. I just want to thank all of you for subscribing to the channel and showing your support. I really, really appreciate it. You just don't have to do that, but I just thank you for those of you who have. It has been a blessing to me, and the feedback has been a blessing, and I just want to just thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Spread the word. If you find others uh, could be inspired through this uh, particular site, we just want you to just make sure that the channel gets the word out, and um, I just thank God for all that he's already done today. I want to take you on a little math quest because we're going to talk about adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing. I know some of you said, now listen, I didn't sign up for this. I've done enough math in school and I don't have to do all of that right now, but don't turn your dial just yet. Don't turn away. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is some wonderful plans that the Lord has done already in our lives to set us up for the next thing. God is a multiplier. Everything he does, he does with plans for increase. He never wants to decrease you and belittle you. That's the devil's job. He comes to steal and kill and destroy. But the Bible says that the Lord comes that we would have life, not just life, abundant life. So everything about God is multiplying and increasing you and showing you a much better way. And I just thank God for that. We have a hope that lies within us far beyond this world. So when this world seems to subtract and it seems like you're losing and it's sapping the strength out of you or the life out of you. You feel like you don't have any more courage, any more to give. Sometimes it can each day at work or each day your demands could be leave you so drained. You feel like sometimes you just don't have enough strength for to carry out another day's journey. And every day it seems to be a stressful day. Well, you know, you have to get a balance in life and you have to do whatever it is you have to do to find that balance. That's most important. But when you find that balance, we cannot remember the promises that the Lord has given us. And there are things that he said he would do for us. Those precious promises that second Peter tells us about second Peter, the first chapter goes into about the precious promises that we only have in the divine nature. In other words, in this stressful world, you're not going to find these precious promises. You're going to get everything that this world offers. But when you tap into the spirit realm that the Lord has promised you blessings, blessings that you even have no knowledge of. But he said only through the spirit can these things be attained. So the scripture goes on in verse five says to add to your faith virtue. And to virtue, knowledge. And to knowledge, temperance. And to temperance, patience. Uh -huh. And to patience, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. See, those things have to be in order in order for you to maintain these precious promises that the Lord said that we could have. Because the Bible lets us know that the enemy is stealing, he's killing, he's destroying. But if we're going to maintain this abundant life, you've got to be adding. We must be adding to our lives. When we get in prayer, we just consistently need to ask the Lord, Lord, that my faith would grow. And God, help me, God, that I, that I would get more knowledge and open up those scriptures and ask God to reveal his revelations to you. Come on, he'll do that for you if you ask him. If you need wisdom, ask of God. If you need patience, don't ask for that. But 
through all of these things, the Lord will teach you patience. But continue to add, add these things to your life. But you will see that in adding, God will begin to multiply. Don't you love Jesus? He will begin to multiply. It, it's automatic. You don't have to grind and grind and make the spirit man work. All you have to do is continue in the word. If you continue, he says, then you'll find that you are my disciples indeed. And you will find things that were a strain begin to level out. Now we go through periods and seasons where things are rocky. Uh, you don't see your way. You can't, you don't understand what's going on. Everything is awry. And those seasons come. But if you just maintain the course keep the course keep adding keep adding because you have to have all these things your faith has to increase your knowledge must increase your temperance must increase because you know this world is out of control so if anybody's going to have self-control it's going to have to be the believers because you can't expect a sinner man to have self-control the devil has already got his hands working in the earth making sure that everything is every which way but the bible says in me you can have peace you shall have peace in the world there are going to be tribulations but he said be of good cheer i have overcome the world so i'm letting you know today the devil might be coming to subtract from you he wants to divide he wants to make sure everything gets separated and you'll never get it again but the lord says if you keep adding I'll keep multiplying. How about that? You can't ask for anything better than that. That if you keep adding, God will keep multiplying. And I thank God for that today. You go with that and, and don't let the enemy get you down. You just keep adding. Wherein he might try some tricks, you just keep adding. Greater is he that is down on the inside of you than he that is in the world. He ain't got nothing on you. You belong to God. I thank you for joining me today. I look for you to be with me on next time. Don't forget to bring a friend. And don't forget, if you haven't done so, subscribe. We really need your help. We want to make sure that the world finds out that they can be encouraged and they can be inspired through the word of God. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.